Hey everybody, it's Gord from the uh, contractor site here again. Uh, I've been in to uh, do some plumbing for a customer and they've told me they've had some trouble getting the pilot light to fire up in their, uh, in their gas fireplace. So we're going to take a look at this and I'll show you a couple of steps as to how we can get in here and get this thing running again. So here you can see the, uh, the unit that we're working on and here it is here. It's got the fancy grate on the front there. So uh, let's start by taking this particular grill off. So what we're, what we're going to do is actually lift this unit up and I'll do this with both hands here and that comes completely out. And then what we'll do is we're going to do the same with this unit here. We're going to lift it out. Now we've got to remove the glass. So what we've got, I'll step back, you can have a bit better look. You can see just at the top there's a few of the, uh, you know, the one, two, three, and four screws. Now basically they're just a quarter turn type deal. So they, they turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, again a quarter turn, and a quarter turn, and the glass should come out. And if not, we'll give it a little bit more of a quarter turn here. There we go. Maybe a half turn. <laughs> and again here. Just so it comes loose. And so that it too can come off. Okay, now what we need to do is to locate the fire, uh, at least the pilot light. So we can actually remove a couple of the logs in here just so I can give you a little bit better idea. We'll take this main one away here. Now... This is the unit that we're actually looking for. Okay, now, here's our control panel here, or at least our control bits here. I know the light's not that great. Let me try it again. Ah, okay, here we are, you see. So now what we need is we need this switch in the on position, and then we need this guy here. We're gonna flip him to the manual position and then this guy here is actually our little control so we're going to keep him as low as we can for the fire and now I'm going to just because I've been doing plumbing I'm just going to start my torch here there's my source now what we're going to do is we're just going to take one of these little screwdriver type units and I'm going to put it directly into here and just hold that now, I'll try and do this the same way, and you can see that with my torch, I have fired up that, that light. Now, I'm going to hold this for about 10 seconds or so, right, and then we should be able to just come back off the position. Okay, let's just ease off. I'm out of there. The torch is off. And you see our pilot light is still working, which is good news. That's what we're after. Now, what we do is we come back to this unit here. And we're just going to slide him into the on position. Okay, can you see that? He's into the on position. I know it's not a great video here, but it kind of gives you an idea. Now, if I wanted to just test things, I come back to our knob here and I can turn him up and up and bingo. There we are, we're in business. So now it's a case of I'm just going to turn him right back down, right to the bottom, so that our pilot light remains and uh, then we can just kind of put our uh, put our logs and such back and then just reverse that uh, procedure that I did with the uh, you know, putting the glass and everything back in there, and uh, you're home free. There we are. Perfect. That's that guy. Good. Okay, well, I hope that's some help, because some of these can be pretty tricky, and that is the new one. So, again, that's the old legend. And, uh, and again, you're, you know, you're going to put your corner units in. You can see how why that's a quarter turn. So, it's in, quick turn, and away you go. So, I hope that's been some help, and... Uh, We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.